I'm Mike Coffee, and this is my shop. Coffee Custom Builds does heirloom, one-off custom furniture, as well as production runs and cabinetry. Right now, we're in my production shop. This is where I have all my automated tooling. Obviously, you can see my CNC is here, but we're gonna start this video out in the traditional woodworking shop. Let's go. This is where I spend the majority of my time. I love being in here and working on wood in here. It's a really great spot to be. Let's start with the tool that's in the real center of the shop. That's the table saw. This is like the heart of any woodworking shop. This is a saw stop PCS three horsepower. I've got some upgrades on here. I've got this flip stop system and I've got these Jessam guides. These are just quality of life things. The bottom line is the table saw is such an important and key part of any woodworking shop. On my table saw, I've got this router wing. Truthfully, I don't really want this router wing here anymore. I wanna make a separate router table, but I don't have the space for that right now, so this is the best option. And it's been really great. This is the saw stop wing with the Jessam lift, and it's a great lift. Coming off the table saw is this outfeed. We use this as an assembly table as well. It's covered in glue. It's, uh, it's never clean. It's never this clean. I tried to clean the place up for this video and make it look a little bit more presentable, but uh, you can be rest assured that this will be filthy by tomorrow. <laughs> this is my jointer. It is a 12 inch Laguna. This is a parallelogram and it's a helical head. It's a really, really nice joiner. I really love this joiner. It's been a workhorse. <laughs> we, we put a ton of board feet of lumber through this thing all the time. It is constantly running, and I've had zero issues with this machine. Next to the joiner is this cabinet. We added this a few months ago. This has been a great help. Shop storage is so important, especially in a shop like this, where we need to keep a bunch of stuff on hand. I mean, we've got a bunch of random screws here that we use all the time. Mostly, this is all for cabinetry, not for furniture. Um, for the custom stuff, we have a bunch of you know, knife hinges, regular hinges, uh, Euro screws, threaded inserts. There's all kinds of stuff that we need to keep on stock at all, or in stock at all times, and I can't be out of it. But if I don't have a proper home for it, it'll just be laying out all over the place, and this place becomes a nightmare. Downline from the joiner and that cabinet is this drill press. This has been a solid drill press for us. I do wanna upgrade from a bench top machine to a floor standing machine, because we actually do use this for mortising a lot, and I need something that's a little taller or can, or can dig down a little deeper. But here, this is my shame corner. <laughs> this is where I have, um, I've got a bunch of, it's the holidays right now, and I've got a bunch of small projects that I need to wrap up. So I put everything into one spot, so over the next week or so, I can just focus on these one at a time and knock them out and get them out of here. So this is a, uh, this is a place where I can have the projects I need to get done really bad without taking up all the space for all the production work we're doing. Coming around over here, we've got storage for all the glues and some wood fillers and some other stuff. It's mostly a catch-all for random stuff, but <laughs> there's a lot of glues and fillers over there. And here, I keep a lot of epoxies. We use that for adhesive a lot and crack filling, stuff like that. And then over to here is the Panta router. This Panta router is such a cool tool. Uh, this is really a production machine, especially for real joinery. Once you get it set up, you can just plow through your mortises and tenons. It's awesome. This is my planer. This is a 20 inch Laguna. This is the older body style. I love this machine as well. This thing is so beefy. It's a helical head. Like I said, it's 20 inches. It just works great. We can run full 20 inch wide pieces in here and cut like, 16th off and it just doesn't even notice it's happening. Across from the planer is the miter station. This miter station is very old. This is one of the first pieces of furniture, shop furniture that I made when I first got into woodworking. It's got this miter saw built into it and it's got this stop block over here which we use all the time. It's really important for us to be able to make repeated cuts. It's important for anyone to be able to make repeated cuts but here we do so much production work that we need to be able, be able to knock down material to its rough or final size very accurately, very quickly. Off the miter station is my dual head drum sander. We use this a lot. I've been getting into more and more veneers lately and we do a lot of panels. We usually run 80 and 120 in here. This allows us to thickness things fairly quickly we don't get burning and you know, it leaves us a decent enough finish where we can start off with the orbital sanders at 120 to start removing the sanding lines. Over here in this dark corner is my 12 inch disc sander. This is from Harbor Freight. It's a fine machine. It'll remove material really fast. I think I keep like 40 or 60 grit on here. I only use it to like really quickly eliminate material. Uh, to, over to here is this spindle sander. It's got different sized spindles you can attach to it. We don't use it a whole lot but we have been using it more and more, and I think I want something a little bit more heavy duty pretty soon because we are using it more and more, and the pieces that we need to use on it 
kind of move it around a bit. So I think I need something that's a bit more substantial. But it works great, solid machine. And then right here is the polisher. This doesn't get used very often. Mostly we use it for metals like brass. We'll take brass up to a polish for some custom work we do. This is my dust collector. This is the Laguna P-Flux 3. I've had this for about three or four years. It's a been a solid machine. I am definitely outgrowing it, but for years this has been a solid machine. I think for a hobbyist shop, this would be killer for a hobbyist shop. All the way up until someone who's running a business, I think you can get a lot of mileage out of it. I mean, I have, I've gotten a ton of mileage out of it, but I'm really starting to get to the point now in production where this just isn't cutting it anymore. Uh, this tool wall has allowed me to put all of my powered hand tools into one central location and to be able to access them quickly and easily. And this is just super nice. This is just more about the conversation of me trying to up my organization game in the shop. It helps us be quicker, more efficient, and more productive. This is my shaper. This is the Laguna shaper. It's a five horsepower. This is a power feeder. This is awesome. It's got three wheels that feed the piece through and keep you very safe. It also is, you know, has less wear and tear on your body really great. These aren't cheap, but it's way cheaper to buy one of these than it is to have to get surgery on your shoulder. This is my 14 inch bandsaw. This is the first tool I ever bought with money I made from woodworking. Well, the first new tool that I ever bought. I will never get rid of this because it has a very special spot in my heart, but I, I love this little machine. It's been great. I've put a lot of wood through this thing and learned a lot of stuff on this machine. So I was so happy with this machine that I got its big brother, the 18BX. This is what I do all of the resawing on. Sometimes we'll break down big pieces on here as well, but mostly this is resaw on this and we'll do like radius cuts on that or smaller cuts on that. This is also a power feeder. This is brand new to the shop. Just got this in literally today. We had to cut about 70 veneers last week and I thought I was gonna go to the hospital. <laughs> I was legitimately in so much pain I thought I had to go to the hospital. So that was the big uh, catalyst for buying a power feeder for this. This is my edge belt sander, 689. It's a 689T, which is a six inch by 89 inch. So that's this is the edge belt sander. This is oscillating, works great. It's a great way for removing stock. It can do big faces and stuff like that. It's just, it's an edge sander. It works great. Next to the edge belt sander is my Shaper Origin Station. I've had this idea in my head for a couple of months. Basically, I wanted to give these a dedicated spot. I had a like a sort of thrown together spot for them on the other side of the shop. But this is a space where I can use the workstation, store all my stuff for the Shaper Origin in this cabinet. I've got my plate up there and all these things, all the accessories that go with it, bits, tools, stuff like that. Next to the Shaper Origin station is all my hand tools. I got my chisels, my markup tools, my Western saws, my Japanese saws, and my hand planes all here. This is all on purpose next to this assembly table. This is where I do all my hand tool work. Over the last year, I've gotten way more into, wood, uh, into hand tool working, and in the last few months, I've gotten really into hand tool working. I just really love it a lot. It's so enjoyable to me, and it brings me so much joy, and this is definitely my favorite spot in the shop. I love being over here doing stuff with my hands. It just feels really good. It's really rewarding. Next to all the hand tools is all the clamps. It's pretty hard to have a woodworking shop without clamps, and we've got quite a few of them. This is uh, about half of the clamps that we have in the shop. We have a bunch of clamps in the other shop as well. We have all different clamps for different purposes. This is my main production shop. Right here is my laser room, and over here is my CNC production and assembly area. This is the new machine. This is a Laguna Smart Shop SUV. It's got a 12 horsepower spindle with an eight tool auto changer and a vacuum bed, and it is a monster. This thing can crush through plywoods and hardwoods and any woods and plastics and some metals too, but we just use it for plywood and hardwood. So this machine is awesome. It's completely changed our production volume. We can really just fly through about like 30 to 40 sheets of plywood in a day, just cutting out parts all day long. It's an incredible machine. Another new addition to this shop is this edge bander. This thing is awesome. You can literally just put a piece of plywood on this side and it comes out the other side, cut and flushed with a piece of edge banding on the edge. It's awesome. Over here, this is a mess, but we're in the process of setting up this Onefinity machine. This is being upgraded to the Masso system. That's not important, but what is important is this machine is gonna be dedicated to cutting out custom brass. I've started making my own custom brass hardware and I wanted to have a way to batch more of them out at a time and have it be more consistent. This is my laser room. It is pretty small, but it does everything I need it to do. It holds my lasers and we cut parts in here out of it. So this is my 150 watt CO2 laser and this is my 50 watt fiber laser. Tucked away over here is my lathe. I 
love turning. It is something that I found a lot of joy in and it brings me just a ton of happiness. Sadly, <laughs> it's tucked away over here because I don't get a lot of time with it because I'm so busy. Also, this isn't the ideal spot for it and I, this really should be in the traditional shop, but there's no space for it. So hopefully soon I'll have a really nice dedicated spot for my lathe and I'll be able to spend time in there more often. This is my woodshed. This is just a shipping container. We keep it uh, always air circulating through here with that dude. It moves a ton of air out of here and it keeps it, all, it never gets hotter than it, is, than it is outside. I like wood. And this is the finishing booth. It's a really small finishing booth for how much stuff we do here. We really do need a much larger finishing solution. I've got HVLP up here and all of our finishes are up on the shelves up here. We've got some cabinet storage. We have these racks we made. We've just kind of had to maximize our space so we can maximize our productivity and we're doing the best we can with a really tiny spot. If you've made it this far into the video, congratulations and thank you. You get to see a sneak peek into the future of Coffee Custom Builds and that future is here. Hopefully by the 2024 shop tour video, I'll have my new building, which is going to be an eight to 10,000 square foot monster shop, which I'm really excited about. Spent a lot of time planning and I've had a vision for all this and it's all starting to come to fruition now. And you can see the first steps of all that. And hopefully I'll be able to share more and more of that over the next year. And then by, like I said, by 2024 shop tour video, we'll have a pretty badass shop to show you in that video.